Well, welcome back, everybody. On this first day of spring, I first want to say hello to my new friends up at Terrytown. Uh, they're kindergartners and just a good group of people, so it was nice to visit with them today. And uh, now we look at the clouds and the radar. We had some sunshine come out, first day of spring. To me, it doesn't look all that much like spring. A lot of years were a little farther along as far as the green coming up and the flowers and so on. I have some tulips coming up and I have some daffodils coming up, but they're doing it slowly. It looks, you know, I think they know something. Perhaps, perhaps uh, we don't, and maybe they do. 58 degrees now in Terre Haute, 64 in Robinson, 59 in Casey, Mattoon 59 in Vincennes, 62 degrees, so pretty nice. But we were talking about that breeze and how it kind of feels chilly, and a jacket I think is in order, especially as we get more into the nighttime hours, because we have a northwest wind at 12 miles per hour, 16 miles per hour, uh, straight out of the west in Robinson. A sort of a southwest wind in Vincennes, 9 in Olney, 12 in Flora, 13 in Effingham. So somewhat breezy out there, and the wind has been gusty as well over the past couple of hours. Casey had a 25 mile per hour gust, Robinson 24, Vincennes 21, Linton 29 mile per hour wind gust, and Rockville 23, and it's going to be windy tomorrow as well. One of the reasons is that we have this warm front, which during the overnight hours is going to start to move in. And as we get into the first part of the day tomorrow, the wind will switch around directions a little bit and certainly become a south southwest wind tomorrow. And then at about midday, we're going to we're going to be between this warm front and this cold front. And so because of the difference of the air between here and over here, uh, it's going to become breezy as the the air tries, the atmosphere tries to balance itself out. And then eventually what's going to happen, especially late tomorrow night, is this cold front is going to come through and could create a few scattered showers. This is around midnight tomorrow night into the overnight hours. But the air behind this front is not sharply colder, so I don't think that all the ingredients are quite there to make big thunderstorms. It's not impossible there could be a rumble or two of thunder, but I just don't think we're looking at big storms, even though there is a cold front coming through. 39, partly cloudy, a light breeze tonight, and then partly cloudy, breezy and warmer tomorrow. At times, the wind could gust to more than 25 miles per hour, but 65, hey, what's wrong with that? And then showers possible late tomorrow night, overnight low of 37 degrees, and then uh, that cool air comes in on Saturday with a high of 50. Uh, Saturday night, just enough moisture could bring us the possibility of a little sloppy wintry mix on Saturday night into Sunday, a high on Sunday of 39. And I put snow back in the forecast for Tuesday. Sorry about that. As we get into next week, it looks as though the temperature will stay below average.